I've climbed the mountains in Montana Danced in the lights of New Orleans Portland ran away with me And San Francisco stayed with me Nashville made its way in between Fell in love in Minnesota Fell apart south of Seoul Maybe some things never change But I wanna know how it feels to hang pictures on a wall Sleep in the same bed at night I want reasons to stay I want someone to take up my time To miss me when I go Today has been one of those days. It's been crazy, right? Started out okay this morning. I got up, took a shower, got ready for my day, did a bunch of retreat planning for a couple of hours, putting that pizza in the oven now. Um, and then Dale and I had some things to do, right? Let me set my timer here. 20 minutes for this pizza. Dale went to take some eggs over to the farmer, so that should be done by the time he gets back. Anyhow, uh, yeah, so we had to go, I had to go exchange part of my dad's birthday present. I got the wrong block, and I don't know how that happened for his phone, for the charger. I don't know how that happened, because I know I had the right one in my hand. Anyhow, had to go get a new one, so we went to Walmart and came home, and we were going to go take that out to his house, but he wasn't home yet. Um, so we hung out for just a little while, and then Josh stopped by after work. Uh, he had some paperwork for me to help him with, got that done. And while I was doing that and talking with him a little bit, got a call from Shannon that Devin and Jackson had been in a, a minor car accident. Minor. Wow, that was loud. Did you hear that? That was the pan going, ah, why did it do that? Weird. Um minor meaning no one got hurt it wasn't like you know serious serious but it did mess up the truck that she has truck messed up her truck front end of the truck the headlight the front tire i don't know so she got that towed and it was pretty close to us just a couple of miles away from us and so we went and picked them up and got her over to where they towed her truck so she gave her stuff out of it took them home so i don't know what's happening with that but everybody was fine um she yeah, it was rainy and there was somebody stopped in front of her and you know, anyhow. So, um, yeah, I dealt with that. Then we did get out to my dad's house. And you know what? There's absolutely nothing wrong with any of his cords or boxes or anything. I think it's his phone more than anything. You know, the port where you plug it into, I think that's really loose. And if he doesn't get that in there just right, it can tend to not connect properly. Dale cleaned it out, took a toothbrush to it, cleaned it, blew in it. It was working just fine when we left. It was charging. I did leave the new box there because it's a fast charger, so we did that. Anyhow, um, dogs have been fed now. They were happy to see us come home. They did not get their dinner at their correct time, so they were happy for us to get here. So let me show you this, you guys. You'll be surprised. Look at how much of this painting I have done already. I have been cruising along. I mean, I've gotten all of this done. I'm over here. I got this strand of yarn. And then last night, I did all of this. I went up this way. I got the head of the mouse, and I got this yarn in the basket, got the basket done. Um, yeah. 
And then I was working on this black last night when I went to bed. No light pad on out here or anything. That was getting a little dicey, the black without a light pad. But look at how good it looks. I mean, it's so much fun. Look at that little mouse. Look at the micees, right? They're so cute. So I've been cruising on that. Tonight is uh, TV viewing time. It's the Chicago's. And time for me to sit and work on crochet for a while. So I won't probably get any drills on this today at all. Um, and that's okay. I don't have to work on it every day. Um, guess what? I don't know if we'll be able to see them or not. But there is not one baby over there. No, we can't see them at all. There are three. There are three babies. Three, three, three. They're so cute. Uh, did you see those cardinals go uh, flying into the bush there? See them over there in the bush? There's a red cardinal, a male's in there. I think there might be a female in there too. Yeah, but we watched the babies for a little bit on our way home. And one was just over there just hopping, just like jumping. Whoop, 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 jumping around. It's so cute. Maybe someday I'll be able to get that on camera. I don't know. But pizza's in the oven. He'll be back in a little bit. We'll have pizza and we'll watch our shows and I'll crochet. Ah, time to relax. Well, I have to fill out this form and put it in the mail for Josh. <laughs> I don't have to fill it out. I mean, I have to fill out the envelope, get that in the mail for him. So, yeah, my calm, relaxing day when I didn't have much to do changed in a heartbeat. Boom, just like that. All right, I'm going to go get this ready to go in the mail tomorrow. Look, here comes a baby. Here comes a baby. Hang on. I'm going to zoom you in. There's a baby. See the baby? They're so cute when they're brand newborn. Not doing a whole lot, but it did just come running out from somewhere. That little baby. So cute. I love them. I'm going to zoom in some more. I wish it would do something now that I have you here on camera. Got a good view of the baby. But it's just going to, no, not doing anything. You know, I'll turn the camera off and it'll start acting silly and jumping around. You know that. But they're so stinking cute. Mama says, come on, baby. Let's go. Huh? Oh, boy. Okay. I'm going to go do what I got to do here. Well, I have the shawl um, blocking. Yes. So it actually stretches out to a pretty good size. I used up as much of that cake of yarn as I could. And I got to where I had just a little... Um, I could make just a little border here. So I got a little border with a little pico. It's not the border that it asked for, but that's okay. So I got like one, two, three, four, almost five complete rounds of that with that one hank, uh, one ball. So um, it's pretty. I love how the colors changed. Kind of hard to tell in here. It's kind of dark in here, but we're blocking it and stretching it out. And yeah, thinking it's looking pretty good. So, yeah. See what that looks like when it's dry. Pretty, right? I figured while I was blocking, I would just keep blocking. This is my Annie's kit. I got uh, two months done. And I thought I'd start blocking those squares. I got those done. And I have a strip in the sink. I'm going to put that in there with the shawl because that needs to be 12 inches wide. I got room in there on that for the, for this to fit on that um, blocking mat in there. So, and I've got these, I'm not going to do these yet. These are from Wonderland. I'm going to wait until I get the other one done. I'm going to work on these for a while. Um, we'll see how it goes, but blocking, blocking, blocking. Next, I'm going to wind yarn. That sounds like fun. I'm going to come wind yarn with me. I got a lot of it to do. Decisions are so hard. I've started caking this and I want it to like blend one to the other based on the colors. So yellow, there's this yellow in here, this orange is in here, this orange is in there. So then we go to the pink and then this one can kind of go there. It's got pink and then burgundy rusty color. I'm, I, it's so hard to like get them in a nice order. And some of the greens, I don't know about I, I could take some of the greens out and then I feel like I need to throw in more tonals every once in a while instead of, oh, so I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. This is what I'm taking on Sunday to the class in East Lansing with Tony Lipsy. Um, 
And I don't know. Maybe I'll just take one and say, here, put these in some order for me. <laughs> I don't know. We're, I'll keep playing with it. Well, while I'm waiting for Dale to come in from dealing with the chickens, whatever he's doing, I got dinner ready. Um, there's our sides and whatnot. We have some sausages on the stove. I thought I'd come over here and show you what I've been working on because I'm cruising along. Look at it. It's so cute. Oh, what was that? I don't know. Wax, I think. Um, so I've come up here. I've got the basket done. got the yarn in the basket. I got the mouse's head. Did this whole section of black. I did that in the dark one night. Well, it wasn't dark, but it was evening. I've moved this way, made this yarn, working on this yarn. I love the pink strand that's running through. That's ABs in there and whatnot. But look, I'm cruising along. But I was uh, saying that this is driving me crazy because I can't, I can't keep going like this. Just, I'm going to probably at this point pull this plastic up down here, put release papers on it because I just need it to even out. I'm ready for it to even out. It, it's kind of driving me nuts. I, I can't diamond paint this way, but I have been. But it's fun because you'll just do like this. Just grab these blues and you do all of this blue. Right now there's like five pinkish reds in here and I'm just going to do all that. So in all these blues, I just did all this blue stuff. It's fun. It's just fun to work on. And look at that sparkle. Oh my goodness, the sparkle. In case you don't know, this is Francesca's Studio Works, right? And here's the whole picture right here. There it is. When the kittens are away, well, they're not away. They're just uh, sleeping on the job. <laughs> this quilt's going to be fun because you can see it's going to be section by section. This section, this section, different colors in each section. I love it. All right, next time you see this, you probably won't be able to see the whole thing. I'll have some release papers on it, but I'm having a good time with it. That's for sure. So my shawl is dry. I have unhooked it from the blocking board and it's keeping its shape very nicely. I love it. It's so pretty. I mean, look at the purple to darker purple to this deep blue to the lighter, gets lighter and lighter. It's so pretty. And my little picos here, my little shells and picos. It's beautiful. Look who's, look who's helping me. What are you into, Missy? What are you doing? <laughs> she says it's dinner time, but it's not. And then this is dried. But my squares, this is the Annie's kit. I mean, all of them were pretty accurate size-wise for what they're supposed to be. And blocking them, I think, is just making them just like a little straighter, nicer, crisp edges, I guess. But anyhow, this is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I need to take a picture of this and post it in our um, MAC along, what is it? MAC along 2024. That's what it is, because this was a project that Angie and I worked on. And she said today in our live, she didn't finish her shawl. I'm like, mine's done. It's actually blocking. I've actually blocked it. Yeah. So I'm going to post this in the group and then I'm going to pick it up. I think it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. Um, let's talk books for a second. I want to talk books for just a second. Here we go. Hang on. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. I'll turn you around. Hang All right. Oh, hang on. Not that way. I have no makeup on, no glasses, nothing. I look funny. Um, been reading Reckless. This is an Elsie Silver. I got, I got like a hundred pages to go, I think, about a hundred. Um, they're getting it together, learning how to parent and that they want to be more than parents. That's the deal. They're learning how to be more than parents. That's what they want to do. And then what's the other book we're reading? This one's for book club. Hang on, it's on the floor. This one is way different than I thought it was going to be. This is called The Lost Bookshop. And it's way different. I, I don't know what I thought it was going to be. But it's like, there's three characters. There's one lady. She was in 1921 and owned the bookshop. And I think now the characters in like present day, one of the guys is looking for the bookshop. The bookshop is missing. He encounters this other lady, and she's, uh, I think she's left home. Is that her? I don't know. I'm, I'm still confused by some of the things the characters are doing. She's living in a lady's basement, 
taking care of her as her housekeeper and caretaker and whatnot. And he's looking for this lost bookshop. I don't know. It's really weird. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's just kind of confusing and it's totally not at all what I thought it was going to be like. So we'll keep reading and we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll get back on track with book club next week. Brandy had to take a week off. Yeah, all my special lives, like my book live, my crochet live, have all been kind of messed up for a couple weeks, week, week and a half, two weeks, whatever. Anyhow, um, that's what we got. So that's what I'm up to. All right, so I'm getting my uh, the rest of my Annie's squares and stuff okay. um, organized. I have to block this one. I don't think I'm blocking many more of these unless they're really needing blocking like this needs blocking in the worst way this one does this one's too small these they're all coming out bigger so i'm like as long as they're all coming out bigger i'm good with that these are still damp these have been on here since yesterday but there was two layers here these are still damp but i took them off anyhow i'm going with that and then now I'm going to get into this right here, this box from Amazon. That's all retreat stuff. I'm going to get into that next. Yes. See what we have in the Amazon box. I've been getting deliveries every day. Um, Angie and I placed a large order to Amazon. So yeah, let's get into it and see what we have in this box. You don't get to see that though. Sorry. I know. All right. Well, here's my world this morning. Yeah, that is Dale. <clears throat> He's screwing holes into the house. Yeah, to hang that uh, hose reel. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I don't know how deep those screws have to go, but I mean, he is drilling through cement. Anyhow, I decided to block my squares for my Wonderland project and one more for Annie's. This one's really pulling. It's not wanting to. All right. I won't make you listen to that any further. I just thought I'd share with you what my uh, morning's like here. Yeah, it's fun. Today's the day. Got to take down the Easter decorations. So I just came all the way around from the back to the front and look at my porch. Amazon has been here, but it's cold up here. The sun doesn't shine on the front porch because it's the wrong side of the house. So I got to go around back again and get my sweater. And I'm going to come out here and um, we're going to change the porch decorations today. Yeah, let me get to it. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I don't even know what I'm doing. What do I have in the garage to put out here? I don't know. We'll find out. The hubby is out rolling the lawn, listening to his music. He's got his headphones on, can't hear a thing. <laughs> and I have decorated the porch. The porch is decorated. Got all my little gnomies there and sunflowers. I got bees. And then over here, the, do the dogs are barking because we're outside. And I'll put a plant in there when I get some plants. Could put the tulips in there. Huh, I wonder if they fit. Let's see. Could put them in here just like this. I don't know. Will they fit? Oh, look at that. There we go. There. Get in there. Will my little gnome sitter still sit, though? No. Eh, no. Anyhow. Okay. We'll find a different spot for the little gnomey girl. Those can sit in there. Yeah, why not? All right. Well, that's it for now, folks. I'm done. Let me go let them dogs out before they drive everybody crazy. There are many beautiful reasons to be happy. Yep, you would just have to find them. Got some bees over here, too. All right. Let me go take care of these crazy doggies. We're in downtown East Lansing today on a Sunday afternoon. We're going to the Woven Art Yarn Shop. 
I just found a parking spot. I'm going to do a class with Tony Lipsy, um, Tunisian Crochet Project. So I got parked. Parking's weird. I don't know. It was strange. Anyhow, uh, going in and going to meet Tony. And I'm a little nervous to meet like a celebrity person. You know what I'm saying? So anyhow, here we go. Let's see what this is all about. You're fine. I'm taking a video. I'm just not telling anybody. Not publicizing. <laughs> just some of the stuff that we've looked at and learned about. I want to make this shawl right here. I love this one. Yeah, and it seems like really light. I know. Aren't they cute? I know these little. So cute. This one's really nice. Too. And I love this yarn. I don't know what yarn that was, but it's so stretchy. And I think I'm really. This is fun. This is Sylvie. It's Sylvie. I'm gonna try that one when I get a little better. That's pretty too. I like the size of this one too. It's so pretty. It's so cool. I love it. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, you're fine. Oh, you're fine. These are the AliExpress hooks. I love those. Tunis back there. And then, I mean, we've been here before and seen their yarn. Yeah. What is this? This is fun. Oh, I don't like it though. No. That is rough. I have to have soft yarn. You know, I have to have soft yarn. We're just taking a little tour. What we're doing. It's Tony's mommy right there. It's Tony's mommy. And then you can put the little thing on your arm. On a walk. Look at all the summer colors. <laughs> My visitors here today, viewing the eclipse. <laughs> yep, she's trying to take a picture of the eclipse. Is what she's trying to do. <laughs> it's not working. She can't do it. It won't work. It's interesting though. It's just kind of eerie out there. Like it's about to rain or storm or something. But yeah, it's still kind of bright at the same time. Very weird. And as I leave, I leave Angie in my driveway still glancing at the eclipse. She's gonna stay until it's eclipsed and it's moving out the other way. <laughs> Have fun, Angie. There she goes. She's still trying to get a picture. I don't think it's gonna work, but she's gonna give it a go. Have fun, Angie. I was out at my flower garden and I was just innocently, innocently standing there and um, looking at the flowers from the outside and all of a sudden I had this stinging pain, stinging pain in the back of my arm. I was like, dang, and it just kept stinging and stinging. And I was like, ah, oh, something stung me. Sure enough, look at that big red spot on the back of my arm. Still burning. I'm like, ah, oh, I didn't do anything to you. I didn't flail. I didn't wave at you. I didn't do nothing. Yikes, it's still burning. It's <laughs> just burning. I, don't, I never saw the bug. I don't even know what stung me. So, yikes, that wasn't any fun. Well, I just pulled my Francesca's off my little table in the office because I'm bringing it out here to put another row of release papers on. So I just thought I'd show you how far I've gotten. Look at it. I almost have a little hamster's head. I just got his little ears to go. He's in the basket. And then the other mouse, super cute. This stuff is so sparkly. You guys, these, these drills are just amazing. Every time I do this and catch this sparkle in the camera, I'm just like, Wow, it's so pretty. Anyhow, um, this is how much I've gotten done. This is a whole row and then some up there. I got a little bit extra done up there. I was going, I was going kitty wampus there for a while. But um, I wanted to let you guys know too, and I'm going to tell you here and I'm going to say at other places throughout the month of April, Francesca Studio Works is having um, a sale on some of their paintings. Some of them are marked down. Um, There's several that are $5 off. And there's one, oh my gosh, you guys, uh, I think it's Lavender Serenade is $15 off. That's an awesome deal. And Lavender Serenade is beautiful. I mean, I have that one in my stash. You know, I'm going to get to it someday. 
but I have an order of go here. It's this one, then the sunflowers, you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyhow, go check out Francesca Studio Works. The sale is there. Um, it, it doesn't show up when you click on the painting at first, when, you, when you're scrolling through the paintings. Click on it, get ready to add it to your cart and it will change the price. Um, and it's, they're clearly marked, it's easy to tell. So go check them out and um, get yourself a, a nice painting um, at a discounted price even. But I'm getting ready to put release papers on here so I can get cruising with my next row across. And um, I don't know which way I'm going to go. I think I'm going to start over there this time and come across and get a lot of this uh, quilt, blanket, afghan, whatever we're calling this done, and then come across and even this out. So I get going though, man. I don't have that much done. So let me get busy here.